I love like a good, I'm such a sucker for like a good like buddy cop thing. That dynamic between partners is so, I have a lot of cops in my family and I just think there, there's something so special and we've all grown up watching these like great cop shows and cop movies and there's just a, there's such a, um, there's such a loyalty that I, I really love playing with that. And you, it's just somebody who knows you so well and you can poke each other's buttons. And I always think that's an amazing, it's an amazing device for a story and a great thing for comedy. Just being around it and seeing the technique, it's like everything is different with the puppets. It's like getting up out of a chair and taking two steps towards a desk. I'm like, so you just, the puppeteer does it. And they're like, they do, but then it's a, it's a transfer of puppets. It's a different puppet. Um, we have to take out the floor, which I was like, what? What do you mean the floor has come up? And they're like, we build everything, you know, every single set is built up on, what are these, like five foot risers? Like the whole floor is up five feet. And depending on wherever the puppet is moving, they take out the floors in these little huge squares. I said little and I was like, I'm not the one lifting them. They're pretty big squares. And the puppeteers, it's like their optimum way of working is standing with the puppet above them. So a two, you know, taking two, three steps, sometimes it's like, it's a different rig. It's a dolly system. No. And then every time I think I know what it is, like, so we're going to take the squares out there. Like, no, this one's a dolly. I'm like, right, right. This one's a dolly. And then the next time I'm like, so this one's a dolly. They're like, no, we got to take the squares out. And this is a totally different puppet. Like I can't, I've, I think once I guessed it right. And it was just, a, I was just kind of taking a stab at it. Everybody in that puppet workshop, I mean, they're mad, crazy scientists and artists. They can make these puppets. I mean, I literally wrote something where Sandra, you know, it was already really funny that she was like above me in this plane and like, I don't see her because she's like a spider. And I was like, oh, what if she fell down and like her legs wrapped around me? And everyone's like, well, it's a puppet. So her, her legs aren't real. I'm always like, right, right. But could she do that? And then, and then there's Tom, who I call the wizard, who suddenly is like, I think I can get the legs to wrap around you. I was like, oh, my God. Which then makes me go crazy because then you just want to think of crazy things for puppets to do. And they did. They built this whole other version of Sandra that, like, falls down and her legs in real time snap around me. It's such a team. Like, each, each puppet, it's... Sometimes five people doing it. A lot of times two, sometimes three. It can be up to five people literally bringing this puppet to life. And the fact that they can all do that and do it so fluidly that it's still one character. I mean, that's, it's just crazy. It's really something to, to watch work. And you end up talking to all the puppets. And then, and then you have to remind yourself, like, I'm talking to a puppet. Like, the camera's not rolling. And I'm just chatting away to a wolf puppet. Like I've, I've had like full conversations. And I was like, I'm sorry. I'm not looking at the puppeteer. I was like busy talking to the wolf. Bill Beretta is so good. I mean, he's so good at what he does. He's so good with, I mean, he's, he's a master puppeteer, obviously. But he's such a good actor. And like Phil is like, Phil's broken my heart. I've been furious at Phil. He makes me laugh. I mean, it's... All of Bill's heart goes into Phil. Like, he really, really, he he knows who he's playing. And it's been, like, one of my favorite, like, acting partners. And and Bill's just amazing. He also plays Bulldog. I mean, he, he, can, he can do anything, but it's how Bill Beretta grounds them. And, like, he's crazy funny. So he can, like, we improvise all the time. And he really makes me laugh. He really knows that, that character's heart. The first time I met Bill Beretta, I mean, he was great, and he put on Phil, and I was, I just kept thinking, I don't know where I'm going to look. I don't know where my eye line's going to be. Like, do I look at, they're like, oh, you won't look at Bill. I'm like, I think I'm going to look at Bill. Like, I'm going to look at the person standing there holding a puppet, and they're like, you won't. I was like, well, I think I will. And then, of course, the second Bill, you know, put on Phil and started talking to me, I just talked to Phil. Jenny is played by Elizabeth Banks. Ridiculous. Um, she is, was part of the show, the original show. She was the one human on it. She was like just America's sweetheart 
who's now stripping um often four puppets there's there's some dance numbers with carrots i'm not going to give it away but it was so great like heart of gold and then there's a there's a twist i never want to say but um you know she just she was jenny like it's so funny when people come in you're just like oh my god well of course it's you and i just love that she was everything had everything and just fell from it now it's like a in a terrible strip bar not that there's really great ones um and her life is you know and i think everyone from the happy time gang is now thinking that like when the show comes back on we'll all we'll all get back to like where we were and that's not happening because they're all basically being murdered miss maya rudolph is bubbles and she literally truly is bubbles like i feel like she didn't play Bubbles. I was like, oh my God, Maya's a, Maya is Bubbles. Like everything. She just literally, when everything got put together, we were all like, Bubbles. Like it just was, she, and her and Phil, she plays, Bubbles is Phil's kind of like right hand. Like she's the one that keeps it going. His office um, knows everything, is smart, but also just like a bit of an eccentric. She's so remarkable i don't even i don't even have the adjectives to describe maya so funny and all of that goodness she's also one of the like the kindest nicest people i've ever met and i think all of that just like you literally feel it through the lens like you feel how what a wonderful person maya is and maya doing bubbles is like it's perfect